Well, good morning, gang. So, uh, we're back at the big board. It's reasonably early Sunday morning, and I got a little quiet time. Ow. So, I thought I'd drink some excessively hot coffee and talk about how games capture your mind. One of the things that I uh, was thinking while I was playing this game was as I was here considering the turn and looking ahead and trying to work out what I was going to do and how I was going to do it and you know what the best approach was to the game and all the rest of it, uh, my mind started to wander a little bit. And uh, my mind wandered to earlier play that occurred yesterday with regards to Carthage. I was sitting there pondering, well, what could I do in turn two in Carthage that would allow me to have the most impact in that game and all the rest of it? And I only played for about an hour and 40 minutes online with, uh, uh, I think the guy's name, is it Dave or? Well, I, he's known as Hair Doctor, right? So the guy that does the Guns, Dice and Butter um, podcast. And so... He, uh, you know, he and I were playing. We had a great time. It was a lot of fun, and it was fun for me anyway. I don't know if it was fun for him because he was getting his hiney kicked. The dice were not his friend yesterday. But I was considering what was going on in the game and in that game versus considering what was going on in this game right here in front of me while I'm playing it solo. And it just felt to me like that probably is a strong sign that I am not engaged or captivated by this title. And I don't know why that is. I don't know why uh, why I'm not so enthused about it. It's certainly you know, very playable and all the rest of it. It is not a bad game, but it's just not. It just wasn't capturing. I guess capturing the attention level that I was expecting from this type of title, and from and from Mark Simonich as well. Because he's supposed to be, you know, the man. And most of his other games I've played, I would say he is the man. So I'm packing this up and we'll work it out. And I'm wondering what it is that makes a game so compelling. And maybe you have some thoughts on and ideas on this that you can share in, um, in the comments below. Either on the blog or on the YouTube channel. I'll, I check them all out. So uh, that'd be nice to hear from you. You know, what is it? Because it, you can play a simple game and want to play it again and again and again. And you can play a complex game and you play it again and again and again because it is, it's engaging. But what about it is engaging? And a lot of the times I think it's the choice matrices that you're presented with, right? The, how am I going to handle this? And when you start comparing how I'm going to handle this or how I'm going to do A, B or C with another game... That might be a completely different era. You start thinking, well, you know, this is pro this is not as intellectually stimulating or intellectually engaging or as fun. That's what it seems to be for me, anyway. It seems to be that type of situation where um, I'm sitting here thinking about how I'm going to make a move, surround some guys. Hopefully keep them out of supply until the supply phase, their supply phase, and then uh, hopefully attack them or something like that, right? Attack them in the next, the next turn. Get a one column shift to the right, um, and then still face the, <laughs> still face the risk of losing a step at eight to one. But this was interesting in that you really do need to use supply. And for instance, supply is a great, uh, a great equalizer in this game. If you, if you don't have, if you can't put the chaps out of supply, it is going to uh, make life all the more difficult, particularly as your access forces are attrited away. The Soviets need to use, uh, use the supply rules to garner the extra column shifts to make their attacks worthwhile. Nice map, good counters, big hexes, easy to read rules, nice charts and tables. It just, uh, it just didn't uh, blow me away. 
So I think, I, like I said, I'm packing this up. I'm going to put something else on the table. Uh, I, I'm trying to play the Waterloo 200 game over here on the left. And we're having a few challenges there. I'm hoping we'll get through that. That's mainly me, I think. And of course, I still have my unconditional surrender up on the magnet wall, which is taunting me. I mean, there's a game that I'm a little bit intimidated by, but I'm just going to jump into it and we'll, we'll get going on it in the next week or so. All right, dudes. Talk to you later.